Alright guys, uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video of uh, the top five guns that I chose that I got for under 250 bucks. So, um, kind of cover a wide range of use. Um, got a couple handguns, uh, carbine, uh, more long range, high caliber rifle, and just a 22 rifle. Um, so anyways, we'll start with the uh, Millennium G2. Uh, this isn't, I'm not going to really review these guns, I'm just going to go over uh, real briefly um, the reasons I bought them. So, uh, this one's by Taurus, as most of you know. It is a 9mm, and I got this gun uh, for a carry gun actually. Um, reasons I bought it is it came with two 12 round magazines. So. Uh, 12 plus 1, a little bit higher capacity than most carry guns. Um, the price I got for was $199, so a uh, really good price. I was with free shipping even. Um, overall, the gun shot very well. I know there's, uh, you know, some reviews that, you know, people uh, had some issues with them or whatever. Um, Taurus quality control isn't always the best, um, so I've heard, but uh, for me, this gun has shot excellent. I actually have not had one issue with this gun. I've had uh, over a thousand rounds through the gun, and it shoots great. Uh, it is a little bit uh, wide um, for a carry gun, uh, but uh, it it works pretty well. A couple of things that I don't care about it. Um, it has a polymer guide rod and the trigger, um, I'm not going to say that I don't like it. It's something that I definitely had to get used to though. Uh, it's, it's a very long trigger pull. It's not heavy. It's, uh, it's a real light trigger but it's just you got to take up a lot of that space before the gun goes off. Some people uh, I've had out to shoot, they'll pick it up and they'll pull the trigger and they think it's broken because it's not firing. It's just, <laughs> they're still not pulling it back far enough. So um, you just got to bury it against the gun. So it's, you know, again, it's not something I dislike because once I've got you gotten used to it, um, I, you know, mentally I'm expecting that to happen. So, uh, you know, but that's just my opinion. Um, as far as the reliability of it though, and the accuracy, uh, it's, it's excellent. So, um, next is the GSG Firefly. This one is in 22 caliber, and these are all unloaded, by the way. So this is this gun is identical to the Sig Sauer Mosquito. Uh, uh, everything about it, the, every part on this gun is interchangeable. It's pretty much the exact same gun. Um, uh, this gun it shoots extremely accurately. Uh, it also comes with a 10 round magazine. Uh, the finish and you know the quality of the gun seems to be really good. I haven't had any issues with it. It is a, it is a little finicky when it comes to the ammo you shoot. Um, I actually have a full length uh, video on this gun um, as a review. So if you know if it's something you're actually thinking about getting, if you want to check that out, um, go into a little more depth with it, but. Uh, overall, it's a it's a good plank plinker gun. Um, I, I wouldn't use it for self defense. Um, everybody has their opinion on what the best caliber is. I personally would not use 22 uh, for self defense, but um, you know, it's whatever. Uh, this gun I got also for 199 with free shipping. So um, you know, it's just a fun gun uh, out at the range. Uh, you can shoot through a lot of ammo um, without. Uh, you know, spending too much money. So overall, I thought it was worth putting in, uh, you know, the top five guns for uh, 250 bucks that I got. So, all right, this next gun. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of you are like, uh, are you serious? It is a high point. Um, but I gotta tell you, I have shot thousands of rounds through this gun. Um, I have never cleaned this gun uh, from the day I got it. I have not cleaned it. And I have not had 
one malfunction at all. This gun has shot perfectly. It is accurate, it shoots accurate, uh, accurately, and um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it's worth putting in the top five because uh, it's shot really well. Um, I bought it for $249. Um, so ironically, uh, this actually, the high point, is the most expensive gun out of these five. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but whatever. It, everything that I have here came with the gun. It came with this really cheap, junky sling, uh, which works, I guess. Uh, but it also came with this foregrip. It folds up, has a little storage compartment under it. Um, you know, it's ugly. Uh, it's a little bit heavy for what it is, um, but it's it's a blast to shoot. It's really fun, and it and again it shoots really accurately. So I uh, don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about it, other than um, well, the magazines. Like every high point that I know of, only comes with a ten round magazine or less that's single stacked. With how wide this handle is. Uh, you could get like two double stacked magazines side by side in this handle. So I don't know what High Point's problem is as far as not putting higher capacity mags in there, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I, I would honestly trust this gun for a home defense weapon. Uh, if I ran some hollow points through it, it, you know, like I said, it has not had one issue whatsoever. So. Uh, everybody's got their own opinion about High Point. <laughs> this is the only High Point I own, um, but I'm happy with it. I will probably never buy a, a handgun from High Point, um, just because I can buy something like this for a few more bucks, and this is a lot nicer to look at than a High Point. Uh, anyway, next is the Mosin Nagant. So um, this is uh, 7.62 by 54. Uh, which ballistically uh, it shoots um, very similar to the 308 uh, rifle. Um, the ammo is uh, very easy to come by. Um, I actually don't have a shooting video of this just because I shot all my ammo and so I didn't have any to, to run for you guys. Uh, but very fun rifle to shoot. Um, I have the bolt out of it right now, but it literally just slides right in the back of the gun and that's it very smooth uh, bolt and it shoots really well to pull the bolt out you just pull it back pull the trigger and the bolt slides right out so it makes it really easy to clean and uh, shoots really accurately and it, you know it's a gun that you know it'll reach out there ways so I bought this gun a little while ago, back when you could still get these for pretty cheap. I got it for 89 bucks. So, you know, you can't beat that for a bolt action uh, long range gun. Um, I know there's tons of reviews on that, so I'm not going to get into that one a whole lot. But uh, it's definitely one that I would recommend. It's a real fun gun to shoot. And the last one is the Marlin 795. So this is a 22 caliber rifle. Um, you're probably wondering why the heck I chose this to put this in here over the Ruger 1022. And uh, reason is, is I just got this one for quite a bit less than what I could get a 1022 for. Um, but you know, of course, there's some downsides to it. It doesn't have all the accessories that you can get for the 1022. Uh, but but anyways, about this gun, um, I've shot thousands of rounds for this gun also and with you know very few hiccups uh, you know shooting CCI and stuff it I've never had an issue with it's more of you know it had a hiccup here and there when I'm shooting bulk uh, just cheap ammo but still um, hundreds of rounds through it without any issues whatsoever so um, I would say very reliable gun uh, it's extremely accurate um, but I, I chose this gun because everything that you see here, the scope, 
Um, the bipod was actually a gift, so I don't know exactly how much it was, but if you found a, you know, a fairly inexpensive one off Amazon, you can get everything that I have here uh, for under $250. So that's kind of why um, I chose this gun for the top five. Um, it's just an excellent rifle. Uh, the scope, I think, was 60 bucks. It's uh, BSA Sweet 22. So if you're not familiar with those, the turrets are calibrated for uh, 22 caliber, um, which makes zeroing in a little bit easier. Uh, but anyway, I bought the gun itself. It was like 139. So um, very inexpensive rifle, and it shoots very well. Uh, just an extremely accurate gun, and uh, just one that I thought uh, should be talked about. So that's my top five. I do have one more that um, I'm just going to bring up, and it's the shield. So the reason I bought this actually is to replace the Taurus. Um, I originally didn't get one of these because I felt like they were a little bit too expensive for what you got, uh, but after waiting around, I bought this gun for uh, $320 with free shipping, and at the time, Smith & Wesson was doing the $75 uh, money back rebate, so uh, $345, I picked this gun up. Um, most of you guys already know everything about the shield, so I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, the reason I didn't have this in the top five is because, in general, you can't find them for under $250. So, but uh, if you wait around and look for the good deals, um, they are out there. So, anyway, um, I guess uh, lastly, uh, just wanted to say all these guns I did buy uh, brand new, other than the most in the gun. Obviously, it's uh, military surplus, but those are those prices that I told you are. Um, new off-the-shelf prices so uh, some of them were sale prices um, so anyways guys uh, thanks for watching um, I got another build video coming up I'm building a, a 12 gauge shotgun actually so that'll be my next video I'm still in the uh, stage of you know trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna build that but anyways uh, till then thanks for watching guys